guys, we're gonna do another one just to show you guys. <laughs> myself and pushed myself to finish a car this year for myself and I haven't drifted in a while so I thought what better than to set myself up for a drift event that's in two weeks away and this thing is not two weeks away for running luckily Mochi Mochi over here is gonna let me use his credit card right Mochi back I'll pay you back and we're rubbing parts off the yellow car so that car has no fuel tank no brake cappers so you see right here right now I'm pulling the cappers out of here I'm pulling the sway bar cause sway bar and later I'm pulling the fuel tank out of it to put it in this car because we need to do a lot to this car so it needs fuel lines brake lines oil lines wiring it needs interior work done and needs those arms put on there's a list. There's a lot to do, not enough time. So most likely you're gonna see the same shit as always, which is a little bit of work, a lot of progress, cause this car needs to be running by the 12. It's a big, big uh, take on, but I'm pretty confident that I can get it done. As long as Mochi's cards don't decline. You got the money? I put the camera down, started working. Got a lot of stuff knocked out, so I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Clean the rotors. Put the new cappers on it. These are the cappers out of the FD. I just painted them because I don't have to rebuild mine. I ended up borrowing the arms out of the FD. As you can see, these are in way better condition and they had the nicer bushings on them. So sway bars on, brakes are on. We go to the back, uh, axles in, all the control arms, the new ones are on, cappers are on. And now what I'm doing is the fuel tank. This is the fuel tank out of the red car. It's really nasty, rusty. Can't use that. So I pulled the one out of the yellow car that I'm putting a fuel cell on anyways. And you can see this one is super nice. Now I get to do the cool stuff, the easy cool stuff, which is putting the radium kit on it. This goes in the tank. And then this goes in the top, which makes it a built-in surge tank. So now I'm gonna put that together, put it back in the car, and then jump on the fuel lines because the goal for today is all, it's like all the suspension arms, all the brakes, fuel lines, fuel tank. Tomorrow, do a lot of the cage work and painting because Wednesday, you're gonna put a windshield on it. After Wednesday, I can do electrical and then plumbing for the brake lines, but tonight I have to put that fuel tank on and run all the lines. So now it's installed, it's got to put the tank back up in the car and start running lines from here all the way to the front. A whole day later, I did a lot of work last night. I was sleeping really late so I didn't record that much because I was so tired. But a few things back in the car, I ran most of the fuel lines. I didn't have to just finish uh, not turning the fuel filter on. And I even finished a lot of the welding inside the car so I'm going to show you guys what all I did. I really need to work on the lighting here because I only have... This light, that light, that's it. So I have to rig up one of my lights up there, one of the snap on lights. And I'm always have to show you guys this, so. I'll get to it, don't worry, but searching is in. So I was all plumbed up, and up front, let's show you, see the lighting is good. We have 
I'm gonna use the grass. So we got all the lines plumb, so you see from the fuel rails to the regulator, down here to the fuel filter, as well as the plug wires that run under the fuel line, so I'm not gonna touch them. So that's all done, and what today I've been doing is mostly been inside the car. So when the cage was done, I think we're, uh, I forgot what it was, but we didn't get to finish the steering console port bar, which is something I could have done, but I just been, haven't had time to do it. So I have to paint the hole inside of the car tonight because tomorrow I was going to get a windshield and after the windshield, it's going to be really hard to paint everything. So the majority of the day I spent today making this. Not too bad, not too, too fancy, just some flat bar, well, some nuts to um, so I can mount the steering column. And I ended up doing these supports right from the firewall. So factory, if you look at that corner, you see how some studs sticking out over there. That's where the pedals mount here because the car was converted around here drive. It doesn't have that anymore. So what I did is that I weld these brackets. That way I can attach the pedals to the new bracket that holds them up. So now I, the pedals are not welding anymore. And it looks super cool too, so can't complain. So now I have to clean out all the inside of the car, take everything out of it, scuff it, then pass acetone over it and just spray paint the whole car. I did want to do it and steal it, but the budget right now is not for steal it. So if I have to redo it later, I have to redo it later, but I just don't want to have to see gray, red, and rust. So I just put everything black. Next day, got the windshield put on, car is painted. Uh, I've been messing with the interior stuff a little bit here, the wiring. So I got the coils wired, I got the injector harness wired, and I'm just waiting on parts. So I still need to do brake lines, wastegate lines and then do all the chassis wiring. It took a long time to get this whole thing painted. Hopefully you guys think it looks as good as I think it came out, but not just waiting the rest of the parts to show up. So I'm gonna keep putting basically more parts on the car. This is the sub harness to the injectors. So rear secondary, front secondary, and then I even added these two extra pigtails. So when I add two more injectors, we already have it there. If you look down here, you can see the coils or your wire to connect it to the harness. We just got the map sensor in, so the map sensor is gonna go right here. I mean, as far as it goes, the only thing I'm missing wiring wise in Ninja Bay is that I have to repin the trigger for the Hall effect sensor, and that's about it. So inside the car, you can see brand new nice windshield. And this other car looks really nice now. Taped everything up really nicely, painted it, came out super good. I mean, we did spend about like two hours, two or three hours sanding all the rust out of the cage. But overall, I mean, it came out really nice. Can't complain about it. Now I'm just basically figuring out where I'm going to mount the computer and all the wiring. I might mount the battery somewhere up here under the dash. That way I don't have to worry about putting stuff in the back of the car and it makes it easier. So I might make a bracket somewhere up here and mount the battery up there. Other than that, I mean, here came out really nice. I'm waiting for the door panels to show up, but other than that, I mean, that's how the interior is going to look like. Besides seats and harnesses, but you get the point. And I'm going to put one last thing on this, this last piece. So, I'm going to just give that little extra to it so you can, you can see where the money went. Here's where the wires are going to come out for the fuel pump, so that's going to go from here. Open this corner hand away. I just get this box in that might ship to me which might be the last bit of parts that I needed. These are the big parts that I forgot in Virginia for the car. So Michael was nice enough to ship it to me. So we go in here. Hey, let me just fucking out. This is where all my money went to. So in here, let's see what we got. Got the oil pan, got the oil pan. E-brake cables. What else? Uh, fan. And I'm thinking here are the clips to the oil pull line. Yeah, so alternator pulley, oil for neck, clips for the oil lines, and oil control rings. Now with all that, I have a big chunk of the, the parts that I was missing. So the plan is for this week to take the engine out, build the engine, put it back into the car and hopefully do a first start, just get a rig in the computer because I still need to wire the whole chassis. Like I told you, I'm really bad at recording stuff because I had to go get the car done for a drift event and it was just so much work that I didn't have time to 
basically do all the work and record. The car's done now, and now we're into the stages of just tuning the car and getting it ready for the first track event. This is how the car came out. Got repainted. See, all the interior is back in it. It's all wired to that. So, flip a switch, computer turns on, crank it, uh, window up, window down, headlights, horns. I mean, it's all done. So, I ended up putting the NRGs out of the yellow FD in it just for now. And we also did these new door panels. Closer you pull on it, to open it, you pull on this one and to close the door, press it down, and you're done, super easy. Waiting on these pieces now to install the race pack and to install the switch panel. All right, so basically the car runs and drives and needs an alignment. I'm tuning it little by little. The tune on it was from the Red Rocket, so the car did have a 50 pound boost cut set already in it. Took that off, put at 30 pounds for now. We don't want to get that spicy with the stock transmission and diff. So turn the boost down, turn the boost cut, down no, which is not the right way to do it but i just wanted to get the car running put some miles in it so right now just instead of starting from scratch i just like basically just took the whole map shrunk it down so the car will idle and now i can start tuning it other than that i mean the only thing i did change from last time to another that it runs is the alternator the factory was giving me issues so i put a dc alternator on it that seems to be working good and i did have to fix some little leaks here and there but overall car runs pretty good as you can see i did get it painted it sort of matches I me mean, not bad for how much i paid and how fast it was painted you cannot complain at all about the paint job especially when the car looks this good so you can hear cars driving around in the background because even though i'm close to my house i did break down i'm waiting on gas to show up so for now for the moment we're broken down just because i ran out of gas i'm an idiot ed5 goes through really fast in this car and i should have paid more attention I do have the race pack wired to a fuel level, so it is working. I just didn't look at it. The plan with the car is just drive it next week, go test it out OSW, and get ready for a big event that I have coming up. I'm not going to tell you guys what the event is yet. You have to wait and find out, but I am going to hint it a little bit. The main thing is I want to get the car 110% before the event and get my driving back up. I wasn't the best driver, but I wasn't the worst driver either. So you just have to basically get the car to behave the way I wanted to. This thing is way faster than the FC was already. And after that, just driving the car. One little thing I will change, and I gotta hit my boy Campo because this has his knuckles. But the one thing that's kind of bothering me because of the height of the car, if you can see, those uppers have a crazy angle on them. So I kind of want to talk to him about it so he can basically made a tubular one that is offset so it puts it a little higher so it's more plain. That's a lot of angle on the, on the upper control. Arm. I did not like seeing that. Yeah, it is gonna bind. So you just have to hit him up, come up with a plan, and fix that issue before the big track. Because the big track, I don't want to be binding. So like we mentioned before, if you guys want to support the channel, subscribe, like, and comment. It does help us out. This is a lot of money that I put into the car to get it done. And what helps out is you guys helping us out by subscribing, liking the channel, buying the merch, so we can go do the cool things to show you guys. Yeah.